Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. When the school bell rang and I picked my girls up on a rainy Friday afternoon in March of 2020, we knew school was out for spring break, but we didn't realize that COVID would make it seem like... At least it felt like forever as spring break rolled right into summer break and summer break was extended a few more weeks by then Governor Doug Ducey. Often when the school bell rang to start the school day during the school year that started in the fall of 2020, we saw lots of kids missing school and often schools missed school by closing, then reopening and then closing again. But why are kids still missing a lot of school, or at least a lot more school now than they did before COVID. According to the Arizona Department of Education, chronic absenteeism, defined as missing 10% or more school days in a year, was bad in the 2021-2022 school year, when almost a third of elementary and middle school kids missed that much class. Last school year, it dropped to around 28%. But that is still more than double what we saw before COVID. In the two school years previous to the start of the pandemic, the percentage of students who were chronically absent was between 12 and 13 percent. Compare that to last year when it was 28 percent. By the way, we weren't alone in Arizona as continued chronic absenteeism is a national trend. And I found that answering the question of why is harder than any algebra questions I got as an Arizona school kid. And even if I change the question to what the heck, I don't get any easier answers. It's why schools are trying to remind parents that their kids need to show up to receive the benefits of an education. One elementary school here in the Valley that a KTAR staff member's daughter attends has a sign out front with a simple equation on it. Here's what it reads. Absences add up. Attendance equals success. Missing just two days a month adds up to missing 10% of the school year. My wife did some substitute teaching online during the pandemic and saw poor kids, some as young as seven and eight, left home alone, including one taped to his chair. Nobody would do anything about it, even though police had had contact with this family in the past. I guess some parents are so determined to keep their kids home from school that they never actually step foot in a school anymore. Is that the level of fear we're still at? Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.